Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, how are you? My name is Stephanie. And for today's video, I am going to be planning in my plan paper vertical columns that I use as a social media planner. And I want to use planning things new as sticker books along with her washi tape. My affiliate link will be linked down in the description box below. And then I do have my Simply Smith script stickers. And I'm thinking about adding her um, quotes as well. So everything will be linked down below. I did want to mention that I was truly inspired by Desiree from Happy to Plan here on YouTube and over on Instagram. I'll go ahead and pop a picture right here. This spread is just so pretty. So make sure that you guys check her out. And I want to go ahead and move these out of the way. I did place my washi down already. So let's go ahead and start with the hexagons. So I want to use, I feel like I want to use, so I think I want to go with like a yellow, pink, and purple theme. I think, yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Kind of break up the purple and pink with some yellow. So I think that I want to place this one here first. And this is maybe where I want to place that quote. I got to find one that fits in this little area. And these are really big um, hexagons. So let's go over here. Okay, so I really wanted to use the big ones. So let's see. Maybe it won't be too terrible. Okay, I think we're just going to try it. Because I think the big ones will look better. So maybe right there. And then this one could go up here. And then these ones would be my um, YouTube videos. Okay. So maybe like that. And then I kind of want to fill in the area with the smaller hexagons. So yeah, so far so good. Let's see about this whole area over here. Maybe we can use this one for Thursday and Friday. So I want to move that up just a little bit. And then let's go to the yellow one. Then this one. This one could probably be um, Saturday's video. And then maybe we can use this one right over here for Sunday's video. Okay, so then I want to fill in the little spaces. Okay, so let's see. So as far as the decorative ones, I wanted to go with this page. It is just so beautiful. As soon as I saw this page when I did the flip through, I fell in love with it. So I think, I think I'm going to incorporate some of the flowers. And let's see. Okay, so maybe right there. I wanted to fill in this little area that I wasn't too convinced about. I don't know how much writing space I'm going to have after this, but like I said, I'll go ahead and use the hexagons um, to write in as well. Okay, so maybe that one there. And let's use a yellow flower. Okay, maybe this one could go here. And let me see. Okay. Mm, okay, I did use 
that color. Let's go ahead and use this one instead. Oh, we do have this big yellow one. There we go. Oh, did I just grab the green one? Okay. Yeah, I wasn't trying to do that. I was actually trying to grab this one. All right, there we go. So maybe this one could be right there. Okay, so then as far as the bees. So maybe, maybe we can have one here and then maybe we'll put another one maybe maybe like right there and then oh actually they're both going different directions because i needed this one to kind of go the other way okay so i'm gonna place this one here then and then i need one that's facing the opposite way so yeah this one is gonna be perfect Okay, maybe I can have this one slanted like that. And look at this little tiny one. Oh, actually, we get two pages. I completely forgot about that. I was just going to say that I didn't want to use all of them. So maybe I can make another cute little spread. But we do have two pages. So thank goodness. Maybe that one could go there. And then I do want to use this bigger one. Mm, actually, let me use one that's facing this way because I kind of want to place this one. Hmm, maybe like right here. Actually, let's go ahead and place a flower down here. So I'm trying to see which one's I have used already okay I haven't used this color on that page so I want to grab this one but trim this one in half Uh oh all these little scraps okay there we go okay so yeah trim this one down in half and then place it down here at the bottom okay there we go I don't even know if I'm in frame Okay, and then have it going like this. Okay, yeah, that is perfect. So then we do have this other scrap. So as far as this one, did I want to maybe do it like on a hexagon like that? Yeah, I think that would look really cute actually. Okay, so now that we're getting further into the spread, I feel better about it. Because right now with all the shapes, it was looking a bit crazy. But now, I see the light at the end of the tunnel. So now, now what could we do? Okay, so she did this little technique where the bees are like leaving a cute little trail. So I want to do that because I think that's what kind of drew me in. It just looked so cute. So let me go ahead and grab one of my pens. Okay, so I'm going to use a Sharpie as gel. So then we're just going to go ahead and do like a cute little trail. So maybe this one could come off from like over here. So just small little dashes. And now we're going to go up and then around and then again, maybe go like that. Oh yeah, see how cute that looks? It might have been a little too straight, but that was our first attempt, so... Yeah, it's going to be okay. So as far as this one, maybe we can kind of curve this one so it's not too straight. 
maybe something like that yeah isn't that so cute oh my gosh she is so creative so yeah definitely check her out maybe we can do the curve over here and try it again all right yeah i think i like this one much better that one was a bit too straight but we are learning so yeah let's have this one kind of go just kind of straight and not looped there okay so yeah so now one more right over here let's have this one looped so let's go like this up and around and there we go oh my gosh this looks so cute okay <laughs> i feel like i can breathe a little bit now because yeah that wasn't looking too good in the beginning so now what i think that i want to do is add my script stickers again so i want to add the headers back on because i feel like it's looking a little too bare okay there we go all right so i'm feeling so much better about this all right so let's see so i feel like i am gonna end up using these three four my videos because i said i was gonna add a quote here but i think i'm just gonna leave it alone and instead maybe add the quote down here but which one would be good for over here look at this one created with a purpose and it has a butterfly and flowers oh i love this one love your damn self okay so i feel like we need hexagons over there though so i'm gonna use the smaller ones okay i definitely want a yellow one I'm glad I ended up ye um, adding yellow so I can break up the pink and the purple and even this peach color. So I think I want to trim this one down. Let me actually add a whole one. So let's add the pink one. So I feel like this one could go down here I don't know I wasn't planning to trim it but I might just trim it down just a little bit so maybe right there okay okay so yeah that one there and then let's see how much I would need to trim for this one, I think I want to do it there. So maybe, maybe this right here should be good. All right. Okay, so there we go. What about this little piece? I don't think that I want to use it. What about this one? No. I have a few little scraps, but I think we should be good. So I said I wanted to use this one. Now let's see how it would look. Okay, there we go. That looks good. Let's see. Let's add a cute little flower. So as far as the flowers... Let's see, I'm gonna try to stick to just this page here. So the last one that's left would be this one. So maybe we can add that one there. And so we have like the orange. Oh, actually we have the yellow one too. Okay, I'm gonna end up using it. And then I'm going to trim it in half so I can have two instead of one. Okay. 
that way we get more stickers especially because it's a really big sticker too so let's let's maybe go ahead and add this one right over here i just feel like this bottom area is a little too bare so yeah that um really helped it out and then as far as this other scrap i was thinking of maybe putting it here or putting it up against the hexagon here like we did on this one yeah i think i'm gonna do that just need to turn my planner there we go okay so yeah that looks good and then um let's see i feel like we are done with the sticker book so now i want to add my youtube script stickers so that one would go there then this one here since we ended up saying that we were going to use all three for all three days and then we only had three hexagons over here because i i don't know i like grouping them together oh my gosh how did i end up with four so yeah sometimes i'll group tuesday not tuesday but thursday and friday together and then saturday and sunday okay so i'm only going to group one day over here well actually yeah one day this one would be thursday and friday then saturday and sunday okay so then i don't know i always end up covering this up and i'm always like not even sure what i want to do over there but i think that i want to add my washi tape so i need to cover this up um that way we add a little bit of color over here as well so there's that and then let's grab our washi i wasn't really sure what i wanted to do there But I feel like this washi tape would be the best thing to do. Okay, there we go. Okay, so then we just need our script sticker here. So yeah, even though we're adding the same little header, I just feel like it adds a little bit of color over here. Okay, so there it is. I felt like I needed to add something over here, so I just went ahead and added a Today's Script sticker, but I think that's going to complete everything. I feel like this spread came a long way. At first, I wasn't too sure about it, but I am really obsessed with the way that it turned out. I really love the hexagons, the bees, the flowers. Everything just came out so good. So like I said, make sure that you guys check out Desiree, and I will leave my affiliate down in the description box below in case you guys are interested in any of these sticker books from Plenty Thing. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing and don't forget to check me over on Instagram at Stephanie Happily Plans. And I'll see you next time.